So I'm going to go over another harder example that seems to trick a few people. Uh, but once again, for this example, we're going to use the power rule. So we'll start with the function f of x is equal to 4 over x squared. Many people probably get intimidated by this problem because they see the x in the denominator. Uh, but once again, uh, this can be solved very easily using the basic power rule. And what we want to do is, instead of writing it as a positive exponent in the denominator, we're going to write it as a negative exponent in the, in the numerator. And so instead of 4 over x squared, I'm going to write 4 multiplied by x. Instead of positive 2, I'm going to put a negative 2. So now we have an x followed by an exponent. So now we can take the derivative using the basic power rule. Let's just dig right into it. The derivative, and I'll just copy it first just to make it a little easier. And the first step in using the power rule is we want to bring the exponent to the front. So I'm going to take this negative 2 exponent, bring it to the front. I'm going to put a little dot in between the negative 2 and the 4 just to show that they're being multiplied by each other. And our second step is you want to subtract the exponent by 1. Uh, so since we had a negative 2 exponent in our original function, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, so we'll have a negative 3 in our derivative. Now we need to simplify this as much as possible. Uh, the negative 2 is being multiplied by the 4, uh, so that can be simplified to a negative 8. And it's improper to leave a negative exponent in your final answer. So instead of writing a negative exponent in my numerator, I'm going to write a positive exponent in my denominator. So a x to the negative 3 in the numerator is the same thing as a x to the positive 3 in the denominator. And this is our final answer. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.